Hey everyone, Sean here with photodeox.com and happy May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. It's Star Wars Day and to celebrate, we're gonna do some more fun model photography with Star Wars miniatures. Now we did this a couple months ago around Christmas uh, with some Star Wars micro machines, but now we're gonna make the scale a little bit bigger. We're gonna be using this larger AT-AT -AT model and we're also gonna be using one of my favorite ships, the Razor Crest from The Mandalorian. And we're gonna combine them into kind of a composite image using photodeox lights, uh, like the Dow Light Prismo back there, which really looks a lot like a lightsaber. So let's get shooting. First off, we're gonna start with the landscape. Now we are using a lizard cage terrarium foam board from a pet store. It's a great shortcut so you don't have to create your own landscape yourself with foam and paint. Next, we're gonna add our models. Uh, we're gonna be using this snap together AT-AT -AT model from Rogue One. So we're gonna put that down. And then finally, we're gonna be using the Razor Crest. Uh, this is a Hot Wheels Star Wars model. Uh, these are actually pretty hard to find. I was lucky to find one. All right, so we have our two models we're gonna light. We have the landscape. Now let's bring in the lights. We're gonna start off by putting a sky filler LED light panel behind our models. This is a really nice portable LED light, super lightweight comes in a kit, just slide it out, set it up, and you're ready to go. And this first one we're actually gonna use for a star field. So we've got this black sheet of plastic with tons of little pinholes in it. And we're just gonna put that on the LED panel and voila, we've got stars. Now, if we focus on the models, these stars are gonna be way out of focus and kind of have this weird bokeh, and you don't really want that. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna photograph the stars first with them in focus. Then we're gonna add in the models and photograph them. And then finally, we'll do a composite of the background element and the foreground element so we have stars that are more realistic. So we're gonna bring in our PopSpot 50 V2. This is a great little portable, focusable LED Fresnel style light. By twisting the ring on the front, you can narrow the beam really narrow. So it's great for using uh, in model photography because you can just put the light right where you want it. So we're gonna angle it so it kind of swipes across these two models and gives them some detail. And then we're gonna bring in our Dow Light Prismo Edition, which is a portable LED tube light that has full RGBWT control. So pretty much any color you can imagine, you can create. And we're gonna use it to add a splash of color to our models. I'm also gonna use a Factor Radius Pico, which is this little portable light that we sell. Uh, I'm gonna put it on a mini tabletop tripod and use it to add just a little bit of fill to the AT-AT so it stands out a little bit. The blue light doesn't completely drown it. Now that our lighting design is done and we've picked a good camera angle uh, for both the AT-AT -AT and the Razor Crest, and I'm actually gonna focus on the Razor Crest and put the AT-AT -AT out of focus a little bit, which kind of gives it more of a dramatic feel like the AT-AT -AT is kind of in the background, like coming forward. We're also using a stand to hold up the Razor Crest so it looks like it's flying. So we're gonna take one photo with the Razor Crest and the stand in the shot, and then we're gonna take another photo without it in the shot and then we can composite those two together, uh, remove the stand so it looks like it's flying. And we've got the AT-AT -AT shooting at the Razor Crest, so to create that effect, we're actually gonna take our Dow Light Prismo Edition light, angle it to the side, turn it green, and photograph it by itself. And this actually has the perfect look of a blaster bolt from Star Wars. And we're just gonna take that photo and composite it into our final photo so it looks like green blaster bolts are coming out of the AT-AT's blasters. Then I just added some extra lighting effects in Photoshop to add a green glow for the lasers and some red glow coming out of the viewport of the AT-AT. Now, if you have any questions about any of the products featured in today's video, comment below. I'd love to help you out. And click the links in the description below to check out all the lights featured in today's video. Plus, click here to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get more creative photography videos like this one. I'm Sean with PhotoDeox.com, and may the fourth be with you.